Let me talk about law and what constitutes law. You have to be specific. Because the only law where really that if we talk about the constitution where the Bill of Rights is concerned as amended by assent in 2011 where it said Parliament shall make no act to abrogate, abridge or infringe upon the entitled fundamental rights and freedom guaranteed by the very constitution itself. Come across this information. I'm gonna mind I share it. Them young police officer here. Yeah. Are some young police and look how them young. My son older than them youth, yeah. But I give them credit, you saw them button up and neat. I like that. The problem I'm going to see with them is their training. Them don't know what constitutes law and know so the constitution is the law where the constitution stipulates that you're not supposed to stop, in, you're not supposed to interfere. with a man's freedom of movement because that's a violation of that man's fundamental rights and freedom man or woman when i say man i mean man woman or child and when you go give an order saying hey you yeah, demand anything and you go move to arrest then that's when you yeah, arbitrarily make a legal determination say you know you are god almighty and you choose to act beyond the scope of your delegated authority if there is such a thing this is why i was uh, present your credential for inspection on the record, present it on the record, present your documentation so I can get your first name, your last name, your middle name, and get your insurance company name, and get your insurance company's number, and get your supervisor's name who authorize you to act contrary to the supreme law of the land. So we have to get your supervisor's name and their principal's name. And when you do not present it, then you're a renegade in office, you're a lawbreaker. So if we don't know our absolute rights, or know the laws where guarantee our rights, then it shall be presumed that we don't have any. 